Today with Erica Fay, and I'm back with a haul from My Mind's Eye. So in one of my previous thrifty hauls, I was talking about how I love My Mind's Eye, and I especially love their older things, and I just hadn't seen the brand, and I had heard from a scrapbook um, owner um, of a shop here locally, actually on the Kansas side, so I still call that local. Um, if you live on in the area of Kansas City and you're on the border of Missouri and Kansas, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, um, Renee, who um, closed her shop recently, um, she still does pop-ups. Renee, if you're watching, I know she does sometimes. Hi. She had informed me that the um, My Mind's Eye was one of her favorite brands, but they had went out of business. So what it is is they just don't close they don't make what it is they don't make scrapbooking supplies anymore they've continued on to like party supplies here we see red white and you and it's like party stuff um but they still some of my subbies uh, subscribers were awesome and told me in the comments that they actually do still have um some crafty stuff and you can get it on their website and actually, it was Amber, who's here on YouTube as Maddie. That's her dog's name, I've learned. She was a winner in my um, 1,000 subs giveaway. Um, she had informed me uh, that she had just picked up a bunch, a haul, um, of Mind's Eye. And I was like, what? Where? How? And she sent me the link, but I had already went on. And this is like at 2 a.m. And I know y'all ladies, uh, if, when you can't sleep, you're surfing for scrapping and uh, crafty goodness, right? So I had already found it before I got her message on Facebook. Um, and she had sent me the link because I did me some searching since I knew it was like, oh, they actually do sell some stuff and they're having a sale. I need to go check it out. And this box is the result of that. So it's two invoices, two papers of invoices here of My Mind's Eye paper goods. So it came rather quick. I guess they're based out of North Salt Lake, Utah, where all the awesome scrapbooking brands are at. So let's dig in and let me share with you. And if you are not aware of My Mind's Eye, you can go check it out. Um, if you are aware and you miss their products, they are selling some goodies. Um, and they are at discounted prices, obviously because they're not making scrapbooking and paper crafting type things any longer. Um, so anyways, I love their vintage stuff. I love what came in this haul and I wanted to share with you all, but I really love the um, vintage stuff that I get. So my eye will be looking for my mind's eye um, at upcoming scrapbook garage sales and I will be scooping up and sharing with you what I can find. Okay, so let's dig in. I got some multiples of things because it was just a good price. And that way my mom has her own set of some things as well. So uh, I've already went through the box and checked it out and kind of put it in the collections because they were all in here like just as they obviously picked um, and filled my fulfillment in the box. So they were separate, but I put them all, try to put them all together. So first off, we have the adventure, this adventure collection. And I got the enamel dots. I got the ephemera, love those. They're camping and they're fun. And then got the, um, and I love this, it's double-sided paper. Let's just roll through this real quick. But I got the smaller paper pad. I don't think they had a, a larger one available. Yeah, actually I don't. That's the thing, they're going, you know, it's coming down to like not much. Look at that bear, the bear is super cute. I love that it's double-sided. And then I got the sticker sheet that went with it. And it has over 200 stickers, it says. So let's just scan through that really quick so y'all can see. So if you want to go check out if they have anything that you might want, now's the time. Love the Brave. That's cute. And Wonderlust, very cute. So for adventures for manly cards would have came in handy that I just recently shared and did as a project share. Um, there was some random stamps. And these were cheap, so I picked those up. Wild asparagus, and we have birds and pears, some numbers, and little sentiments. Love my friend today, so those will come in handy. And then I always want new Christmas things. Um, this one has hope, believe, joy, Merry Christmas. Love that stamp. Very cute. And a stocking, the number 25. And then I picked up the chipboard for that as well. Um, and it has reefs, trees, the word joy, some holly, some presents on this side, Santa, peace, some Christmas white flowers, stockings, Merry Christmas, and some gifts. Very cute, very cute. I love chipboard. Um, I picked up the wildflowers paper pack, and this is 24 sheets, double-sided, 
cardstock, and I like um, all of these. Look at this, the floral. And then it has on the upper opposite side, like different like polka dots and some sentiments and things like that. But very pretty. Here's the back. So we can just get and see. Cute, cute, cute. And then I picked up the wildflower little enamel dots too for that line, but it can be used for lots of things. Okay, then I, I picked up one of a kind and this is a six by six, the six by eight, and the chipboards. And it's one of a kind, you are strong enough, yay, together the chipboards has. I'm doing this for me. So it's like a leader, passion, and women. You got this, the future is ours, love. And then the double-sided papers are here. So fun, love it, it's bright. It says summer too, I love that. The sunglasses, the rainbow. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, the same type of um, prints, but maybe these are slightly different. Let's just go through this. Cute, cute, cute. So some are different and then some are the same. So that was a fun little paper find. Oh, and then here, this one got separated, but the ephemera for the wild heart. So I got the stamps for that and everything. And then I picked up this Gingham, Gingham Foundry 20 acrylic stamps. Beauty, hello, bloom and grow, the birds and everything, the rabbits. And then this was another one. This is Gingham, they did a line and it's gathered. So that the, the stamps, I just got the stamps because they were cute, but they didn't have any more of this um, paper line. So I'm sure as the time goes on and people are buying it up, you won't be able to get these any longer. Um, and I'm not sure if they even have any more. And when were these even printed? Let's see what it says. There's no date. Oh yeah, 2022. So they must have quit making it recently then. Unless they're still making it, but they're just gonna sell it like, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know all the details. If you do, you can leave me them blah, blah, blah. I'd appreciate it. So I got two packs of enamel dots of this line. So one's for me, one's for my mom. And then two of the ephemera packs. Let's just get up close so you can see. Family, home, love that. One for me, one for my mom. And then the six by eights paper packs, one for me and one for my mom as well. Double-sided again, floral, love it, feminine, so pretty. And then this one, the Gingham um, Gathered sticker sheet with over 200 stickers again, like the other one, but different, like this for this line. So super fun, super cute, you can make a lot of things. And then this one is Gingham Gardens. So that one was Gingham Gathered and then Gingham foundry so they had a few different ones so these 12 by 12 pads were five dollars each these are not double-sided but they are spring they are floral they are feminine they are fun love 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 so i picked one up for myself and one for my mom five dollars can't beat that and to have something different than not everyone has especially when you go out and you you know you're, you're picking up on the sales i like to have things that are older i don't mind it because then not everyone has it or if they did have it, they've already long used it. So that was my awesome haul from My Mind's Eye. I encourage you to go see what they have if you were a fan or if you just want some bargains because that's definitely what I got with this. So I have the invoice. Oh no, I'm losing things. When you make a pile of the mountain, now I need to pick that up later. Oh, and then this was at the bottom of the box, a cute little, here's a little gift for you. Thank you for your order. It's a little notepad. Love that. And I do have the invoice here. Let's see. So I can tell you what I paid. Um, so the adventure, this one, the adventure pack collection kit, it was $7.50. So that was actually a kit. Like the stamp sets, I think they were. Don't let me see. I didn't write that stamp. The stamp sets were $1.75. So these were $1.75 for the different stamp sets. Um, yes, the big 12 by 12 pads were $5. The enamel dots were $1.50. And then the ephemera packs were $2. Can't beat that. And then this one of a kind line, um, the small paper pad was $1.99. The chipboard was a, oh no, the embellishments, where did I, what did I get? I didn't know I got embellishments. Oh, the chipboard, yes, $1.99. And so all of this line was $1.99 each. And then the Christmas chipboards, which were double-sided, those were $1.75. So 
I think I did well. And I'm so excited to have bought some other things and get this haul to share with y'all. Um, I encourage you, like I said, go check it out if you're wanting some to score some deals. Thank you again to Amber um, who shared with me the link. Um, I'm glad that I went and found it. And if I hadn't, that you had sent me that link so I could go get some things, get some goodies. She said she just purchased a bunch too because she liked my mind's eye. So I hope that um, you enjoyed this haul and thanks for watching. Bye.